In part one, we went over building the frame, positioning the frame on the boat, patterning for the bimini top, and now we're ready to make our cuts onto the actual canvas. Well, I watched the video a hundred times on sale rate about cutting out the pattern, and then I cut it out thinking that I need to cut, add the half inch seam allowance to the material and not the patterning material. I don't have internet connection where I'm doing this, so I can't watch it, so I'm doing this from memory. So now I need to add half inch patterning material, or add a half inch to the actual material before I cut the material. So now I gotta draw a line on the actual material. And I'm using shoes instead of sandbags. All right, I got it almost uh, the pattern with the two inch seam allowance. And now I'm, I've marked it with the soapstone and I'm cutting it with a hot knife, putting a, a metal ruler underneath it to keep from uh, melting Chris's floor. So I'm just about finished cutting out the top piece of the bimini. What I'm working on here is the zipper pockets and I don't have a patterning ruler so what I did was I cut this paint stick six inches and then I'll use this pencil in the hole and follow along the, um, the measured edge. So I'll, I'll show you that now. So if you don't want to buy a patterning ruler, you can get these free. I'll just point it toward my... Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this along this edge. And I'm just put this in the hole. And then just I'll run this along this edge. It actually works pretty good. Coming to the curve. All right, now I'm out of. So I'm gonna have to kind of guess it there. But there you go. Pretty slick. You know, honestly, I, I have to tell you, I'm not super impressed with this Sailrite sewing machine from day one. They say it comes from the factory with, you know, timing and everything set. And it, it's, I've had so many needle strikes and broken needles. And I'm doing everything exactly the way they told me to do it on their YouTube channel. I don't know if I just got a lemon or if this machine just really isn't as good as they say it is. Because I've had a lot of trouble with it from day one. And I'm not even sewing through heavy stuff. I mean, I'll show you what I'm sewing through. This basically just um, binding and one layer of canvas and I was getting jams and needle strikes so I don't know this is gonna be a struggle getting this uh, bimini top made if it's gonna continue acting up I gotta get a hold of sale right and see if there's any advice they can give me or I gotta send it in to be repaired or something because I mean it's been this way since day one since I came out of the box I hope they I hope they can give me some advice or take care of it somehow it's very frustrating I'm on day four, at, at actual day four, I think, of working on this bimini top. Today I'm going to base the zippers to the zipper pockets and then sew the zipper pockets to the bimini top. That's the goal to get that done today. So we'll see how it goes. I'll take some video of the progress as I go. This is um, day four. All right, I'm making pretty good headway. I've got everything sewn except the zippers to the top, which is this is where the bars go in the uh, in the in the Dodger or Bimini. So I've got my top stitch on the outside here. Turned out pretty good. First time I've ever ever done a flat felt seam. Um, it's a little bit complicated because I have two different 
materials on, on the bottom side is like a vinyl and the top side is like a sombrella. So you kind of have to watch what you're doing to make sure you do it right. So I've got the zippers. All I got to do is get the zippers, you know, placed properly, like right there, and then sewn down. And then I'll take it for a uh, test fit before I complete all the, um, the closures on the end, which I've already got the side skirt um, reinforcements on and I'm not going to put the bimini or the uh, binding on until I'm actually know for sure it fits. So that's where I'm at right now and um, I should be another couple hours on this and then it'll be ready to test fit. Alright this is the bottom of the bimini top. I have all the zippers sewed on, the front hang down, and no tail on the back. Um, I left the edges loose because I need to go fit it on the boat. As you can see, I have about a foot on each end because if I don't know how it's, it's going to be here or here, depending on how the bows exit the, uh, the pocket. So it could be here, it could be here. I just have to make sure that it fits nice and snug around the corner. So I need to go up and fit it on the bimini, on the, on the, on the uh, bimini frame. And then I'll I'll do some measurements and and then we'll be uh, we'll be good to go with the bimini top, assuming that it fits. We will see. All right, broke out the uh, Sailrite sewing machine again, and I've got the uh, bimini top up, and it's looking pretty good so far. I got to do some uh, modifications around these corners here because the. Um, I didn't make a tail. I didn't make a hang down tail trying to avoid work and it cost me probably twice as much work to avoid it. So, but the front is done. It's a few crinkles right now because it doesn't have all the parts on it yet, but you know, the, the front, um, the hang down tail almost looks like a tuck down tail. It's so, it's so nice, but um, it's looking pretty good. You know, if I, if I am, I'm pretty impressed with it. Almost fell off the boat, but anyway. Um, I think it's uh, turning out pretty good for a, for a beginner. Okay, I have it ready to pattern for the windshield and the side curtains. I have the zippers sewn onto the uh, top. And all I have to do is remove the bottom half of the zipper, put it on the patterning material, and uh, make the pattern for the uh, for the windshield and the side curtains and that's what I'm working on now so as you can see there's a lot of zippers on this thing nine zippers on this thing that's crazy actually yeah nine zippers and there's gonna be one more on top about here to go back to the back part called the extender mm -hmm. 